Welcome to the kitchen, where today we're making rigatoni campagnolo, an Italian classic. Let's gather the ingredients. Need two red peppers, a small red onion, and two cloves of garlic. The proteins, we have four links of Italian sausage. Flavor enhancers include three tablespoons of olive oil, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and three tablespoons of fresh chopped basil. Don't forget the salt, pepper, and optional red pepper flakes. Lastly, we have a four ounce package of goat cheese and a pound of rigatoni pasta. Now that we have our ingredients ready, we can move on to the cooking process. The first step in our cooking process is to prepare the sausage and the sauce. Let's heat up some olive oil in a heavy saucepan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot enough, we add in our Italian sausages, be they hot or mild depending on your preference. We want to brown these sausages well on all sides, which will give them a wonderful texture and bring out their delicious flavors. They're beautifully browned. Let's remove the sausages from the pot. Now, we slice them into third inch slices. This size is just perfect, not too thick, not too thin. We're going to use that same pot to cook our chopped red onions. We'll want to saute them until they're soft, which should take about five minutes. Let's not forget to add our minced garlic into the mix and let it cook for an additional minute or two. The aromas at this point should be absolutely mouth-watering. Now comes the heart of our sauce. We add in our crushed tomatoes, fresh chopped basil, a dash of salt and pepper, and if you like a bit of a kick, some red pepper flakes. Let's stir everything together and then add the sliced sausages back into the pot. This beautiful mixture will now continue to cook over low heat for about 20 minutes until it has thickened to our desired consistency. Now that our sauce is cooking, we can move on to the pasta. While our sauce is simmering, it's time to cook our rigatoni pasta. Let's add the pasta to a pot of boiling water. Cook it until it's just right, or as the Italians say, al dente. This means the pasta should be firm to the bite, not too hard and not too soft. Once we've achieved that perfect texture, drain the pasta. Now here comes the magic. Combine the cooked pasta with our warm, hearty sauce. Stir it well to ensure every piece of pasta is coated with the zesty tomato-based sauce, sausages, onions, and roasted peppers. Get ready to serve this mouth-watering dish. The rigatoni campagnolo into individual bowls. Wait, we're not done just yet. Remember the goat cheese we set aside earlier? Now's the time to use it. Top each serving with a slice of this creamy, tangy delight. And there we have it. A flavorful rigatoni campagnolo perfect for a family dinner. This dish is not just delicious, but also easy to make. Walked through the steps to create a zesty, satisfying rigatoni campagnolo, adaptable with your choice of sausage. Goat cheese adds a creamy tang, enhancing the dish. This rigatoni campagnolo is sure to become a favorite in your home. Enjoy a taste of Italy in the comfort of your own kitchen.